Hi, Seth. This is Miss Sukup. How's it going? Hi. Good. How about you? Good. I drill holes in the ground. Okay. They're called wells. It's like a, a water well. It's where we get our water. Uh, from. Yeah, I drill water, um, and that's that's all we do. We're we're a well drilling and pump company, so we drill the wells, and put the pumps in, and for like farms and residential areas and stuff like that. So after you drill the well and you put the pump in, do you are you then like peace out, Girl Scout, or do you have to come back and do maintenance on it, or how to like yeah, what happens afterwards? So my job is I'm just a hand right now. In a couple of months, I'll be an actual driller. Uh -huh. But I, I just drill the well, and then the other side of my company puts the pump in. And okay. then we have another guy that means maintenance. Okay. Like, so lay out, like, a, a typical week for me, right? Like, are, do you work, like, Monday through Friday? Are you, like, a I Tuesday work, through Saturday? Like, what's your shift? No, what's it like? Seven days a week. So typically you do a hitch. It's 10 on, 5 off, or two weeks on, one week off. And they're 13-hour shifts, 13 to 18-hour shifts. And you do uh, – sometimes they'll need you to stay through your hitch. So, like, the most days I've worked without a day off was 43 days. Holy crap. Yeah. So do you and like working the two days or the two weeks and then having a whole week off? Yeah, I, I like it. It's honestly better because – I get more days off than a, like a teacher, honestly. Right. I mean, yeah, you're not wrong. And you get paid more. So. Yeah. It's like, it's all chunks. I work in chunks. So I'll be gone for a month sometimes, sometimes two months. And then I'll come back and have, you know, a vacation, like a, a Christmas break. Like that's kind of how it is. Right. So kind of almost kind of like uh, how firefighters do it, where they work like a couple days on, but you're doing, you're just taking longer chunk breaks. Yeah. Okay. So what was high school like for you? Like, what kind of student were you? Did you get straight A's, B's and C's? What were you like? Uh, what did you do? A's and B's for the most part. And just, I don't know. And you played football, right? Yeah, I played football. And I didn't really like school at all. Okay. It wasn't my cup of tea. Okay. That's why I didn't. Why? Talk why about that. I chose not to go to college. Uh, I don't know. It's more of like a laid back type deal. Like, gotcha. you don't have to deal with higher up people. Right. So you just answered my next question, which was, did you plan to go to college? But so then tell me, okay, so you graduate high school, right? You graduate from Dobson and then, yep. and then what, like, how did you go and find this job and how did you like, what kind of training did you have to do? Um, my buddy was working here and, uh, I, you know, I hit him up and was like, Hey man, like, can I get a job there? And he was like, yeah, just call this number. And I called him and told him my experience like what I can, what I can do, and what I've done before, and they, uh, it took a while to get on. Like I called them twice a week, two or three times a week for like three or four weeks. So you didn't and give up. Called, and they finally called me back, and they said, "Yeah, oh, you got an interview this next week, and and I'll go." And I went over there, and then I got the job. Like they'll they'll hire pretty much anybody. They just throw you to the wolves, and you figure it out, and they'll teach you as you go. But, I mean, it depends on the companies you do, too. Like, sure. you can start off at a lower company, like a mom and pop, which is what I'm at, and then you can go to a bigger company that is more, like, safety-oriented and, and stuff like that. Not that we're not safe. But right. I get what you're saying. There's more rules you're and not regulations. Gonna, you're not going to get on at a company like Yellow Jacket or Hardcore making 23 bucks an hour, 24 bucks an hour right off the bat. You know right. what I mean? You need to get experience. Everything in the trade is all experience. So those four years of you not going to college is your head start to make be making what those people will be making on their own. Does it allow you to do like? Does it allow you to be creative, or can you problem solve, or can you do you get to design things, or like what other things yeah. besides just working with your hands do you get to do? Um, well, I I can weld now. I okay. Do oxyacetylene. I it's. Weldering is nice because you learn, like, everything. I can do, like, a lot of – a very broad spectrum of stuff that you're going to be doing. I offer – I run equipment, backhoes, uh, anything, honestly. Gotcha. Okay. And um, so, yeah. with, with your job, what kind of experience, like – like, what did you do in high school that, like, kind of brought you to this job? Like, had you done welding before? Had you drilled or done anything like this before? Or was it just, like, I want this job and I'm just going to apply for it? No, so my lady's dad, I told him I wanted it. And I uh, told him I wanted to go get, like, experience, move, like, using equipment and 
my buddies that knew how to weld taught me how to weld in high school. So I just, uh, I went up to Utah for a couple of weeks with uh, Carly's dad and and then uh, he taught me how to drive the stick shift and dump truck and all this stuff. And I just put all that on my resume. Perfect. And they want to keep you around. Gotcha. Only big companies will lay you off. So when everything slowed down and everyone lost their jobs, my boss gave us 40 hours a week. Really? Uh, yep. And he just made us go to a yard and clean up a yard and just do, you know, stupid work that he didn't need done but that's you know we all have food to put on the table so that's what he did yeah and you yeah you guys i mean you don't necessarily have a family to feed but you got bills to pay yeah you know i mean i'm sure there's other guys working with you that have families and whatnot yep all right my last question if you had to eat one food every day for the rest of your life what would it be oh just that food, like, I can't eat anything You can else eat other my... things. You can eat other things, but every day you have to eat this at least okay, once. I, ice cream. Ice cream. Every day? You wouldn't get sick of ice cream? No. You could have ice cream every day. I almost do have ice cream every day. <laughs> you got it. What you know and your experience. Gotcha. And then, so after you make driller, you can make tool pusher, which is, uh, that's like, it takes a while because like you're the top dog on the, you're basically the project manager. Gotcha. Okay. And that makes guys sense. guys can make upwards of $20 to the end, low end of 30 an hour. Gotcha. So then. And it doesn't, it does not seem like a lot of money per hour, but when you put into perspective about overtime and. Yeah. So talk about hour. that. So talk about how, like how you can make more money using overtime yeah. and whatnot. Okay. So my first 40 hours of the week, I make. Seventeen dollars an hour. Okay. My second forty of the week, I make twenty five dollars and fifty cents an hour, and then anything after eighty hours a week, it's all double time per diem. So they give you a based on where you're living, they give you an, uh, a, some money for food and where you're staying. So I get thirty six a day per diem, and that's just broken up into three meals, twelve dollars a meal. But wow. at other companies, they pay you for like your hotel and stuff. So you'll you'll get like 115 or 120 dollars a day for DM. Oh, I guess there's that. Yeah, so this is like great if you're like a young person who's yep. okay. Um you okay. You get a head start on your life and start your own business or whatever. You want Yeah. To, that makes you know? sense. Yeah. So then let's say somebody is like in high school right now and they're listening to you talk and they're like, "Damn, that's what I want to do." How like what do they need to do then? How do they get into this job? Look up drilling companies and uh I don't know, just call, keep calling and then gain experience, like cutting and grinding and just doing like blue collar work Okay. Um, and just call around and try and get interviews or send in a resume. Definitely make a resume because they were really impressed when I walked up with a resume. He was like, this is the first resume I've ever gotten. 